For those unaware, I've leveled up my Pokemon fanfiction skills, and rather than making a Pokemon regional video for my next project, which I still love doing and hope to make more of soon, I'm instead making an original creature catching game. It's called Buddymon, and though I've been working incredibly hard on it for the past year or so, I feel like I haven't really shown off much about the game itself, like the lore, characters, world, or even the Buddymon designs. Today I wanted to start a hopefully monthly series of videos where I'll dive into some select aspects about the Buddymon game as my team and I are developing it. There's a lot to share ranging from important groups intertwined in the plot to exactly how specific elements of the Buddyverse work like charms, and I want to get some of that info out there and see what everybody thinks. In today's video, we're going to go over three of the four starter Buddymon you'll be able to choose from at the beginning of the game. They share a theme where they're each based on a prominent animal from the western United States that form the basis of Buddymon's main region, and they also have the standard types you've come to expect from a monster catching game. Fire, water, and grass, which we call nature type in Buddymon. These three Buddymon starters form the classic type triangle while the fourth starter, which unfortunately won't be covered in this video as it's still a work in progress, is neutral to all of them in terms of type advantage and falls in the middle of the triangle. Aside from mentioning that everything in this video from designs to move and ability effects is subject to change before the game's release, I think that's about it for pre-vid disclaimers. Let's get this video a rollin' and take a look at some really cool starter Buddymon. First up we have the Hilava line. This is the fire starter of Buddymon and it's based on a Gila monster, a type of venomous lizard found in the arid deserts of California. Gila monsters love lazing about their scorching wasteland and that type of personality carries over into this lizardy starter. It has powerful venom coursing through its body but nobody is ever really in danger because it just likes to sleep on rocks in the sun. It isn't until it evolves into Smogwana and later Magmadon that it begins to use more of its poison attacks and add a permanent toxic type to its biology. As far as its moves and abilities go, both Hilava's signature move and signature ability involve combining fire and poison together. Its ability makes it so that physical attacks that make contact with it have a chance to cause the opponent to be burned or poisoned, and its signature move, Caustic Burn, has a small chance to either burn or poison the target on a successful hit. Next up we have the novice crew repping the Water Starters. These Buddymon are based on the high population of beavers found in Oregon, and they take their building duties very seriously. So much so, in fact, that the entire line has a loose theme of construction workers that gets progressively more apparent as it evolves. Novice is the most carefree and helpful of its line, collecting sticks and generally trying its best not to mess up any construction. Castruct is the form that probably does the most flat out work, and this is also when it gains its earth typing as it has dried mud stuck to its body, forming just a bit of protection. Concreaver is the final form and just wants a good nap. Real talk though, he's the foreman for the rest of his evolution line and for big construction projects he instructs others on what to do and launches globs of mud like concrete to fix holes, fortify structures, or just flat out attack enemies. For their signature move they have a version of substitute where they create a fortification made out of mud and sticks. This is able to block one attack before collapsing and it has the added bonus of lowering the opponent's speed when it eventually crumbles. The line's ability is still a work in progress, but right now it tentatively has something that makes substitute-like moves cost less stamina or less HP to use. The final starter we'll be taking a look at today is Trinuki, the nature-type starter. Don't let the name fool you, this little rascal is a raccoon that's all about thievery. It'll steal from other buddymon, garbage cans, and even its own trainer. It primarily lives in the northern mountains of Orillon, which is inspired by Washington State, though it has been known to roam the forests of the region, pilfering wherever it may go. As the line evolves, it doesn't become less wily and roguish, though it does gain a bit of a code of honor it follows. Rakrook especially, the final form, is something of a Robin Hood who will steal from those with an overabundance and give them to the less fortunate or struggling Buddymon of the forest. It does this by using a sharp plant needle as not only a quick acting dagger to threaten people, but by using the needle as an arrow in a makeshift tail bow to send messages or items long distances. With a Buddymon that's all about being a sneaky rogue, it's only natural their ability and signature move reflect that aspect too. 
Their ability grants them a 20% attack boost when they don't have a held item equipped. Though it does have the added effect that when they strike the opponent with a physical attack, they will steal their held item. Their signature move Shadow Slash, on the other hand, is a two-turn attack where Rackrook skulks invisibly in the shadows for the first part of it, then strikes with a 30% critical hit rate for the final part of the move. I said in the beginning of the video that we won't be doing a big reveal for the fourth starter in this video because it isn't quite ready yet, and while that is still true, I thought I should at least give a couple details about it so I don't leave you with nothing. The fourth starter, as mentioned before, is a basic type buddymon, which is our equivalent to the normal type. When it reaches its final evolution, it does receive a secondary typing, however, and I can confirm that the second typing is not one used by any of the other three starters. The last little piece of info I can give is that it's loosely inspired by the final US state that makes up Buddy Mon's region, Nevada. It's a pretty loose connection, but I'm sure if you look through animals that are prominent in the area, you'll find some likely candidates. And those are the Buddymon starters. At least three out of the four. We're working hard on getting the fourth one ready to debut, and hopefully by the time the game has a playable demo ready, you'll be able to see what the basic starter is all about. Regardless though, I think the three starters we have right now are in a pretty good place. They each provide a very different aesthetic and vibe, though I hope they still give everyone the classic Pokemon feeling we've all come to know and love. Please, by all means, share which starter you'll be picking in the comments section below, and know that any critiques or feedback are certainly welcome. Buddymon is very much a work in progress, so if there's something you'd like to suggest, like a move name idea, or even potential design tweaks, I'm always eager to hear it. One final thing, but big shout out to my patrons who have been helping fund Buddymon. If you like, you can check out the description to find my Patreon, where each week you'll get a drop of concept art or new info about the game's development as we inch closer to showable gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I'll be back soon with another Buddymon Buddyverse video that does a deep dive into some lore, but until then, I will catch you guys later.